got my free workout, but I'm quickly going to stall. I lost 1.5 kilos already. It is just good to know that what I'm doing, I guess, is working and the amount of calories that I'm eating is working and I don't feel starved at all. Good morning, guys, and happy Monday. Welcome to the third week of my little mini cut series. Sorry if you can um, hear the kettle is boiling over there. But I'm just about to make my meal prep this week, so I thought I'd show you guys what I'm cooking up. So I've got these turkey rissoles. These are so good. If you've never tried them and you live in Australia, definitely get on them. They're amazing. I thought I would like hate turkey. I don't know why. I just feel like it kind of sounds gross to me, but I love those rissoles and they also have turkey burgers as well. So definitely give them a go if you've never tried them. And then I'm going to, that kettle is really annoying, I'm sorry. And then I'm going to chop up some sweet potato and mash that up. And then add a few more veg. And I'm also going to top it with gravy. Yum. It's really hot outside today and it's going to be hot all week. So I feel like this is the wrong choice of food for my lunches. But it's fine. It's going to be delicious. So yeah, I'm going to prep this now. And I'll pop you on a time lapse. <laughs> so excited to eat this this looks amazing um, but I just kind of wanted to talk about the topic of sticking to basics so to me this just reminds me of childhood and like living at home I feel like most families these days just have like the meat and three veg and there's nothing wrong with that I feel like a lot of the time you see on social media people just making like crazy like poke bowls and you know just like amazing feasts but honestly, if you stick to the basics, you're going to be able to stick to your diet a lot easier and it's just easier to track as well. Like, all I had to do was type in the sweet potato, the rissoles, the veg, the gravy and some oil and that's pretty much all. So, there's nothing wrong with sticking to the basics and just kind of making food that you enjoy. I know that if I meal prep this food, I will enjoy it. Whereas if I try to make something that's like almost too healthy if that makes sense i'll get to the second day and i won't want it any like for me i know i'm not a big salad person and i don't really enjoy just like bowls of veggies i know some people love that i don't <laughs> so i know if i was to meal prep that i would get to day two or day three and just not want to eat it and probably throw it out in all honesty so foods like this they've got a good source of protein and they've got veg as well so i just know that i'll enjoy this and i'll be more likely to eat it for my meal prep this week i'm gonna stop babbling because i want to eat my lunch but hopefully that helped just stick to the basics and you'll be all good <laughs> We just got back from the gym and I'm cooking us some dinner right now and I'm making a tikka masala which I've never had before but I received this little package from the company Heart and Soul so I thought I would give it a go. It's, on, it's an all natural um, brand so it's pretty clean and yeah I'm just like intrigued to give it a go. I'm cooking up some chicken now and I'm also cooking up some basmati rice. Oh, it smells so good already. So I'm just going to open this. Um, it says to add pouring cream, but usually to make curries and stuff a little bit healthier and a little bit more calorie friendly, I generally use like a coconut milk, like a light coconut milk. Let me... All right, I just put the sauce in. Let's hope it's not hot because I do not do well with spicy things. 
And then I'm gonna add some light coconut milk. Ooh, that smells good already. As you can tell, I'm not very good at, um, what's the word? Oh my God, my brain's still thinking. I'm not good at multitasking. Multitasking is the right word. Ooh, my rice is done. Perfect. So yeah, we're just cooking this up for dinner. Um, I'm gonna make a batch of four so we can have it for dinner tomorrow night as well. But yeah, that is literally what we're having for dinner in case anyone cared. <laughs> guys if you can't tell the difference between the quality i just got my new camera in the mail and i am ecstatic this quality is insane i'm so glad i finally decided to just bite the bullet and upgrade because i don't know if you guys have noticed but my last few vlogs like i honestly say over the last maybe six months the quality just keeps getting worse and worse because i've had my camera for about six years um, and it's not very good in low lighting or anything like that so i decided to just bite the bullet and upgrade my camera and now I'm obsessed with this quality, it's so good. Don't mind the mess behind me, that is the box that the camera came in. <laughs> but my reasoning for jumping on here is because I actually wanted to talk about this protein bar that I just tried and I am obsessed. What the heck? I'm not usually a big fan of protein bars. I don't love that kind of proteiny texture or anything like that, but the company Grenade kindly sent me a few bars to try out and the peanut nutter flavor Holy crap, it tastes like a Twix, but also a Snickers. Like it's caramelly and it's got like a shortbready kind of base. And my taste buds are just bursting right now. So if you've never tried them, definitely get on them. They're actually half price at Woolies this week. So if you see them, pick them up because I actually cannot get over how good that is. And there's 21 grams of protein per bar and only two grams of sugar. And they're quite filling like i've only eaten half of this at the moment and i'll probably eat the other half before i go to the gym tonight so yeah amazing but yeah i just kind of wanted to jump on here show you guys the new camera quality because i honestly was too excited not to vlog right now but i'm going to train a client now and then we're going to hit the gym This lighting is amazing. <laughs> I just pulled up to the gym, so I'm just getting my headphones out of my bag. I've got my pre-workout that I'm quickly going to skull. I just finished with clients for the morning, so it is now 12.10. I'm 10 minutes late to the gym because in Melbourne you do have to book like hour time slots. So I've booked from 12 to 1 and I'm already 10 minutes late, so I need to quickly skull this. I'm gonna hit legs today. I will see if I can film some clips. It kind of just depends how busy it is, but yeah, let's do this.
on a little walk at the moment with our masks. Fun times. But I had like 8,000 steps, so we're just on an afternoon stroll so that I can get the last 2,000 steps up. Oh, this is a pretty cool, pretty area. One thing I did want to say actually, this morning I did a weigh in, which I don't really know why, it's only been three weeks, but I saw the scale there and was like, I'm just gonna hop on it. And um, I had lost 1.5 kilos already, and I really don't care about the scale weight just because I know that it's not super accurate, although my body fat did drop too, which is cool. <laughs> but I guess it is just good to know that what I'm doing, I guess, is working and the amount of calories that I'm eating is working. And I don't feel starved at all. Like, I literally am still eating pizza, I'm eating ice cream, obviously smaller portions generally, but yeah, I'm still eating all my favorite foods, not feeling deprived whatsoever, and still seeing results. So, yeah, this is good. This is good. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> so, yeah, I'm excited to see what happens in the next three weeks. But yeah, I just thought I would update the vlog. Oh, look, he's doing zoomies. Can you see that? <laughs> that is so cute. Oh my goodness. They're pretty quick. Little speedy Gonzales. All right, so we are back from our walk. I feel like I've vlogged more today than I have all week because I keep forgetting to pick up my camera. But it is Friday night, so we're going to make homemade palmas, and I'm very excited about it. So I thought I would show you guys how we make them because they're like naked chicken palmers, if you will. And it's just kind of like a healthier way to have a good old palmer. I tracked it the other day and it was like maybe 400 calories. And I reckon if you were to have one out, it would probably be literally double that. So yeah, that is what we're having for dinner tonight. I'm just cutting up a chicken breast down here. I'm not gonna show you because I don't think anyone really likes to see meat on. What am I saying? Oh, you cut inwards like that towards your hand? Yeah. <laughs> so you want to cut the chicken like, is this horizontally or, uh, or vertically? That's horizontal. Yeah, horizontal. Like through the middle, not like in half. Kind of slice it into two little fillets, I guess, if you will. Look at the chopping board move. <laughs> dangerous. I should not have a knife in my hand right now. Oh my god. the gym too so it is kind of hard to not be distracted in my workouts like I felt like today's workout wasn't amazing because I was too busy trying to film it but yeah we're on our way to St Kilda we actually used to live here I don't know if you guys have been following me since those days literally like what four years ago three years ago but yeah now that we can travel again we're going out for lunch or like this is traveling what is three o'clock afternoon tea <laughs> But we're getting, um, I'm dying for a strawberry daiquiri, so I am excited to say the least. But yeah, just so I update the vlog, I'll try and film what we end up ordering and things like that. But yeah, 
Do you do aioli in the, in the chicken? Do you do that? I think I will. Okay, the ones 